Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna and this is For Pause in a Book. I make book and lifestyle related content so if that's something that you're interested in make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're going to be doing my TBR for NetGalley November and also categories. quick housekeeping things before we get started. First off, yes, I am sick. I was supposed to film this video on Tuesday and uh, I didn't get off the couch. I don't have COVID. It's all a head cold, um, but this is the time of the year where the weather decides it wants to do whatever it wants to do and my allergies suffer for it. So sorry if I sound like I, I don't know what I sound like. I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> secondly, this is pertaining to NetGalley November. I just want to point out that there actually is another NetGalley November. So there's actually a group of UK bloggers that did NetGalley November last year. They used a different hashtag, so we didn't know that they existed. Uh, and then this year they were using the same one as us. So there are two. It's cool. You can do both of them. They're two different things. They have different prompts. And the whole point is just to, you know, increase your net galley ratio and review some books that you were supposed to do. So because of that, we're not changing our hashtag and they're not changing their hashtag. We're just going to all work together and be a big happy team. So without further ado, let's talk about last month's categories and how they did not go well. <laughs> I knew it was going to be a rough month. There were nine books. Ah! There were nine books. <laughs> And here's how I did. I haven't started these three. Um, this one I'll get to. I don't think I'll get to it this month. I, I was saving these for Camp Weekend Ween, which is this weekend. I don't know that I will read them both this weekend. Pretty sure I won't. But we'll see. I DNF'd this one. Uh, I was so bored. I was done. I don't know. Um, I didn't care. I was like almost halfway through the book. And I didn't care. So I'll talk about more about it in my wrap up. And then I finished these and then other books that were not on my TBR. And I'm a little over halfway uh, through this. I'm hoping to finish it tomorrow. Not a great, not a great start. Um, so here's this. Um, we're going to be doing a punish punishment roll this month. So that's fun, especially since uh, it's NetGalley November. So I'm going to be really focusing on my NetGalley books as like you know, TBR books. So let's, let's do this. Okay. So we're going to start by rolling our dice. I have my letter dice. I'm going to set aside for right now because I don't need that. I have new dice. So we're going to see if they're kind to me. They're these like golden black ones. And then the red and black one is going to be the punishment dice. There's the potential for a lot of books. Okay. We're going to start with the two and see where we go from there. And we have seven. Let me see if I can show you. We have seven. That's not terrible. I've been able to do that pretty much every month. But let's see what this guy adds to it because I'm afraid that he's not going to be kind. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then we have a four. So um, that would make, that would be 11 books. So that's... 11 picks. Lots of net galley books, which means not as many audiobooks, although I do have a ton of them that are already published, so I should be able to find audiobooks for them. I do have some audiobook arcs, so we, we should be okay. I have my prompts here. I did not add the net galley November prompts to here because a lot of these are pretty vague. Um, and then I also did not add the new boards. I'm not really going to focus on those new boards just because I still have a lot of the other boards that I still need to work on. So we're going to do that. Um, I do have my NetGalley November prompts up so we can see what will fit and we're just going to do this. Okay. I haven't looked at my NetGalley like list of books. I do know that a couple of new ones came in recently. So um, I have that. I just don't really know what's on there. So this should be really interesting and 11 books. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. All right, and the first prompt is read a book in the car. So we do have to find one. That is an audiobook. Let's try. Okay, let's pick a letter and we'll go from there. 
This is pretty much a free pick. It just has to have an audiobook because I can't obviously read in the car. So let's see what we've got. Okay. And we have an F. And I think, I think I have one. So let's check. For this prompt, I will be reading Fairy Godmother's Ink by uh, Serana D. Wild. And this is a cute contemporary romance about a girl who's like very, I guess, I think it's contemporary romance. There are fairy godmothers. So I'm like, maybe it's kind of a retelling. But like, this girl has the worst luck. Um, there's a uh, fake marriage, real love, you know, that kind of stuff. I think it's gonna be funny it's gonna be one of those like rom-coms and it already came out it came out in June of 2021 and it is on Scribd so I'll be able to listen to an audiobook so on the neck alley in November uh, bingo board let's see what it'll fit it'll obviously fit the audiobook uh, a book that is already published an author you've never read before maybe a book that I requested because of the cover I could probably fit it in there because like it, I love the illustrated romance covers and potentially in a character that I can relate to potentially that's prompt number one let's let's do 10 more we love that we love that all right and this is a book with a person on the cover i got lots of those so let's pick a letter okay and we have an O, which generally is not a great one, but then like you can do of, and there's actually one that just came out that I just got approved for that I think is gonna work. Okay, this was one of my most anticipated reads for the fourth quarter. It does come out like the first week of November, so uh, it may not get to it quite when uh, before it publishes. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but that is Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. Um, this is a fantasy debut, which is a prompt on the NetGalley TBR. Um, so it's West African mythology meets The Little Mermaid. And this cover literally says it all. It's so beautiful. Basically, she's a mermaid who collects the souls of the dead, but then she saves a boy. Oops, my bad. Um, <laughs> So very excited about this one, and I just got approved for it um, a couple of days ago. So uh, on the NetGalley November TBR, this will be a highly anticipated book, a debut author, an author of color. Um, I don't know if it's in a series. Um, I've seen a little bit of hype about it, not a ton, but a little bit. Um, definitely a book that you requested before uh, because of the cover, and that's, that's it. Okay, so that's two. Let's pick our third one. Okay, um, oh, <laughs> we have an audiobook. So that's great. Again, I'm gonna need those. Let's pick a letter. There's a couple that I'm kind of hoping for. So um, we'll see if we get them. Okay, and we have an A, which is a very easy one. Um, and I actually already know which one I'm going to be doing. I don't even have to look at it. I'm going to re be reading The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gould. This has been getting a bunch of praise on booktube lately. Uh, it did come out this summer. It's kind of, it's queer, sapphic, um, kind of ghosty. I started reading it, so I actually could put it as the book that you picked up and put down. I tried to do a try a chapter tag and then like abandoned the video <laughs> halfway through doing it because I got busy and completely forgot that I was filming that video um, but I did I loved the first chapter it was just more wintry and I was doing it in like July I think I wanted it to be more spooky time it's a more spooky time and I have an audiobook for that one so this is what we're gonna be doing for that yay okay there's three that's 11 oh boy okay but that might be the most categories prompts that I've had so that's a lot Maybe there was one other month that I had 11, and I don't think I, I won that month either, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, oh, this one may not work, um, but we're gonna see. A booktuber's favorite book, um, or maybe one that's like someone's just been like talking about a lot. So I'm not sure if this will work since we're doing a lot of arcs, but we'll see. And we've got a letter. There, I mean, there's definitely a couple that I'm thinking about, so it's just a matter of whether or not this dice will work. It will, yes, okay. Um, I promise I didn't cheat. It's a T, so I know the book we're gonna pick for that. So for this one, I'm going to be reading The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. Um, this is a debut novel, 
and it, it's been getting a bunch of buzz everywhere. Um, I think it's Mara from Books Like Woes, one of, one of her favorites. Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany. They all love it. Um, and I got an ARC for it the day after it came out, which was really frustrating. Um, and then I just never picked it up. So I picked it up on Book of the Month. Um, and here we are. I guess I'll have a physical book to read this month. For those of you that don't know, um, I did talk about this one a little bit in my last book haul, but this is actually like a Rilo fan, Raylo, Raylo fanfic. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not Star Wars, but it is a, about a PhD student and a professor, not her professor. There's no like weird teacher student relationship there, just in the department. Um, and it's like fake dating. It's going to be cute and nerdy and I love it. On to prompt number five. I'm so afraid that I'm actually going to miscount. So hopefully this works. That one's not gonna work because the only secret TBR I have does not have any arcs on it. So that's what this prompt was, is a secret TBR. And I'm not gonna be able to do that one this month. We'll save it for next time. A romance book. I have lots of romance arcs, so this will be perfect. Here we go. Okay. We have an L, so the love hypothesis would work for this one too, but let's see what I have. I'm actually gonna be doing a collection, I think this is a collection of short stories. And it is called Love in Lockdown. Uh, and this is a COVID romance. Um, and like people that had to quarantine together or quarantine like in the same building uh, or like basically start relationships during COVID. And I feel like I'm a little bit far enough distance where I can read that now. There, there for a while I was definitely holding off on my COVID stories, uh, but now I feel like I'm, I'm ready for that. So here's this. It came out in uh, September and I'm very excited about it. Number six is going to be, okay, a book published in 2021. I don't think you can see that, but there you go. Obviously we got lots of those since I have a lot of books that um, have already been published. Plus we still have two months left of 2021. So here we go. I do need some 2022 releases. I don't think any of the ones so far have been 2022. So we'll have to see about that. Okay. Um, we have a W. I don't know what that means. So let's see. I don't know why I immediately didn't think of this one. I started this book a while ago and then didn't didn't finish it um so I'm gonna do that um and I think Kathy is reading this book as well so we can buddy read it it'll count off that um that prompt and that is Iron Widow like I said I got about 100 pages into it and then spooky season started and I had a whole bunch of other things that I had to get to and this wasn't like on my TBR now I'm gonna now it's gonna be on my TBR this is one of Christine's favorite books she I think she read this entire thing in a day um and is like loving it so um we're gonna read this one. It came out, I think, like beginning, end of September, something like that. So it's a 2021 release and we're gonna count it. And I have another physical book to read. We're over halfway done. Number seven, here we go. Okay, this is actually one of Yelena's uh, prompts and I think I've already completed it, but I don't care. We're still gonna work, this is a fun prompt. So this is a person posing on the cover. And I think, I think we can do that. I think that's a fun prompt and I'll probably leave it in there even next year. Okay, um, let's pick a letter. Okay, um, we have a P. Let's, let's see what I can find. For this one, I'm going to be reading A Psalm of Storms and Silence. This is the second book in the Song of Rates and Ruin. I read that one back in July. It was the group book for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. And this is the sequel to it. It does come out like the first week of November. So again, may not be getting to it right like before it, before it gets published. However, the audiobook for A Song of Rights and Ruin was really, really good. And so I'm hoping that maybe I can find the audiobook for this one as well once it's published. Trying to find one at the bottom. They're getting a little stuck down. All right, number eight. All right, um, a small book. I don't know that I have any of those. But let's, let's see what I have. We'll see. Maybe I have a middle grade. But I, I don't know. We might have to stretch what a small book means. 
Okay, we have an eye. I don't know that this is gonna work, let's see. Okay, I actually found one, surprisingly. Um, I am going to be reading Everyone Dies Famous in a Small Town by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. She's the one that wrote The Smell of Other People's Houses that I read years and years and years ago. Um, very popular book on booktube, but I haven't really heard a lot about this one specifically, um, but this is a group of, it follows the lives of young people that live in Alaska. I love the fact that like the way that she does this in 200 pages, um, she's able to kind of do you know those movies where like you follow five or six different people but then in the end they all like combine and they like meet up and like their stories actually interjoin together she's really good at that so i'm hoping that this one does that as well that's number nine let's find another one number 10 no let me check this might be number nine this is number nine that's fine it's fine all right we've got a new to you author i do have quite a bit of those so that is a prompt that will fit. Um, let's do this. Okay, and we have a B. So let's pick one. Um, I'm going to be reading Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sambri. Uh, this is actually an author tuber and it came out a bit ago and I didn't get to it. Um, I do have an audiobook for it so that's good because it's a bit long but I know Jessica Williamson she read it and like bawled like a baby so maybe it'll make me cry. Nothing's made me cry yet this year. I'm not asking for a lot just maybe a tear or two. We'll see. So this is an urban fantasy about a teen witch um, who has to sacrifice her first love to save her family. So that should be a whole heap of fun. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm hoping I'll really enjoy it. I've, I've heard really, really good things about it. Now we're gonna do number 10. Okay, and we have another audiobook. Um, so here we go. That's great, we love that. All right, and let's pick a letter for that. Okay, we have, we have another P. Um, Let's see what I have. This is actually perfect because it's also short. It has an audiobook. Um, I think the audiobook is on Scribd, but uh, it's one that I never wanted to purchase a physical copy for because it's a short, like it's a novella, um, and it's like still over twenty dollars. But I do have an arc for it as well, and so that's going to be a Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. This is queer. I think it's got pansexual representation in it, and it's a sci-fi-ish thing about a robot and a monk. I think or an AI I don't really know I don't really want to know because there's like 150 pages and I don't want to get spoiled by anything but Becky Chambers is a very hyped author on booktube um, I've never actually read from her before so here we go okay last one finally um, this is gonna be a very very fun month I have so much to do it's great but I've been able to like chomp out a whole bunch of arcs so hopefully my rating will go up quite a bit after the end of this month. We'll have to see. This one's not going to work either because it's a book on the TBR cart and I don't have arcs on my TBR cart. So we'll have to uh, hold that one off again. I really should have thought about this and like actually adjusted these prompts. But like I said, I got sick and didn't want to do anything. So here we go. Ooh, a scary book. I do actually have a couple of like horror arcs, but then I also have like some big books that are arcs. So that could work as well. Okay. All right, and weirdly enough, we have a P again. I feel like my dice may not be um, uh, level or you know anything like that so i'm actually gonna stray away from net galley for this one it is still an arc but it's not a net galley arc per se and i'm finally going to put plain bad heroines on uh my tbr because i've tried to put it on like semi put it on several times and this book has been calling to me but it is 600 and something pages but it is also a scary book like a horror book it's like a gothic like horror comedy so that should be a lot of fun i feel like we're still enough into the spooky season that this will work um so there we go um i don't 
this one might might get switched out if I like decide that I actually do want to find a net galley book um, but this is what we're gonna go with for now um, also I uh, clearly need to recalibrate my dice or get a new dice something I don't know because I think we have like three peas <laughs> So on top of those 11 books, I do also need to read Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bouley. Um, this is the group book for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge for November. Uh, it's also part of Indigathon. This is a YA mystery, maybe, with some fantasy? I'm not really sure. I don't know a lot about it, but I've heard some pretty good things. It's a beautiful cover, and I'm really excited to talk about it with everybody. Those are my, my books that I'm going to be reading for um, Neck Alley in November. I don't have the totals because I don't have page counts because I don't have physical books, but I'll put it down in the description below. Do you guys have faith in me? Because I'm not sure I have faith in myself. Um, that's all I have for you today. If you're new here and you have not subscribed, there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video. And all the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you like me, my friend, on any other platform. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.